So in the last video, I talked about using a Discord server and learning how to navigate a Discord server and what it's for. Now I thought I would talk about actually managing your own server. So it's super easy and it's free and it doesn't require any sort of programming knowledge or hosting knowledge or anything like that. Literally anyone can create one. You can create as many of them as you want. I have quite a few for different organizations and friends groups and stuff that I'm a part of. So let's jump into how we do that. So I'm on my Discord server right now. And I'm going to go up to the top here. Now I'm in my list of direct messages and servers. I have a lot here because I just know a lot of people, I guess. <laughs> and I interact with a lot of different things. But if I go to the very bottom of this huge list, there's a section I can click on right here that says add a server. And this gives me the option to create my server or join a server. And I'm going to create a server uh, that does give you the option here to start from a template. So if you are making a server specifically for gaming or for school or for friends or local communities, things like that, there's actually already templates for it. But I usually go to create my own. I'm going to do it for the sake of this just because why not? It's free. Uh, so now I'm going to click for me and my friends and it kind of makes a name by default, but we can change it, of course. So I'm just going to make it called tester server. And now I'm in my server. So by default, you get a text channel and a voice channel. That's basically it. It does have a little guide up here that you can sort of walk through uh, and it tells you things you can do in order to set up your server. But the important thing to know to start off with is right here where we can see the channels and categories. So you can create multiple categories, you can create multiple channels as it shows right here, create channel, for example. And when you do that, you can give it a name, give it a topic. Let's, let's just do it. Let's just see what it shows. Create channel, channel name your mom. I know I'm five. And it asks you if it's a private channel. And create. So if I wanted to edit this channel, I go to it and I right click it, just like we were talking about yesterday, uh, for getting into the actions and options for channels and people, you right click it. And there's an option to, because you're an admin, edit channel. And you can do a lot. There's these little tabs right here. Now that you see, you have the overview, permissions, invites, integrations, and delete channel. So this is where you manage all the aspects of that channel and what people can do in it. This, all this that I'm talking about for the most part too, is also applicable to mods. If uh, you were modding a server and the admins gave you channel permissions uh, or editing permissions, you would also see these options. So this is where you would edit the various aspects of your channel. Same thing basically applies for voice channels. Uh, you just go into, say for example, the voice category and do the same thing. You also have, since you are an admin, the ability to manipulate the users. So for example, myself, let me see, can I manipulate myself because I'm an admin? Not so much, 
But if I if it wasn't me that I had right clicked on, and it was another user who was in the server, I would have the option to ban them, kick them, mute them, um, give them permissions, or take away their permissions. So that is how you sort of start and begin creating your server in terms of channels and categories, etc. Everything is sort of presented to you once you have done that first step and created your server or have been granted permissions to create your server. So there's, of course, more to it. You know, people like to add icons and start doing graphical things or stuff to kind of spruce it up a little bit, which does require some more skills and perhaps programming knowledge. But on a very basic level, this is how you begin as a Discord server administrator or moderator. So I hope that's useful. Uh, as always, feel free to ask me any questions that you have about using Discord or managing Discord. I'm certainly happy to help you with your server as well. I will drop a link to my Discord server just like I did in the last video. People are of course welcome to join. It is mostly for content creators, but anyone who likes to follow the work that I do on various platforms is welcome. And like I said, if you have any questions, definitely feel free to let me know and I can either answer them directly or perhaps if it's got enough content to it, create a video of it. I've got a couple other things I want to talk about within this topic of Discord, so there probably will be at least one more video on this topic. I will make a playlist that will shove them all into one spot so people who are learning about Discord can just follow that playlist. But until now, I actually am trying to jump into a TikTok live because I haven't gone live for a minute. So definitely check me out over there as well. I need to update my YouTube with my current links and things like that because it's been a minute since I've actually updated the channel. And uh, it's Easter weekend, so we're going to be traveling and it'll be a very action-packed couple of days. That being said... Don't hesitate to drop comments and things like that. I will be able to respond. And uh, I hope you all enjoy messing around with Discord if you're doing that or creating servers if you're doing that. Keep doing your thing and enjoy the rest of your day.